Hey guys, how you doing? I'm going to show you how to open the settings for the Vanguard Alpha. All you have to do is you need a keyboard, and then what you do, plug in your PlayStation, and then you press the F3 key, and it should open this menu right here. And I'm going to show you all the settings that there are. So, from the controller here, you can always pause the video if I go too fast, or if you just want to see something. So we got the normal settings as always, got the sensitivity and the button layout, stuff like that. And then for people wondering about the aim response curve type, we have standard linear and dynamic as always. And then we got the aim assist types too. We have four aim assist types this time. We got default, precision, focusing, and legacy, which is gonna be the same as the Black Ops ones. And then we have airborne mantle, which I think is new, I might be wrong. But basically, when you jump up in the air, automatically uh, jumps over. And then we got tax sprint is back. And then yeah, mounting is back too. And there's a bunch of this stuff and like the delay. And then we have sliding. We already knew that. From, you might have known that from the trailer. And then we have some more aim behavior behavior stuff right there. And with the sensitivity multipliers, you can customize it for each scope size now. That's pretty cool. And just in general. And then we have more. Oh, we also have dead zones for specific triggers. That's also pretty cool. And then got auto move forward. Bunch of dead zones right there. We got the door bash interaction, which means there are going to be doors that can be opened again. And they can only be. So. There's going to be a manual which can only be opened by pressing square, and if you just run through it, it opens automatically right, right there. And then this is going to be basically the C4 of this game, I think. And this one is just like if you put down two at a time or just one at a time for detonating. And that's pretty much that for your controller. And then we have 120 refresh rate, safe area. And cam movement, which is pretty nice. If you don't like the shakiness, you can just put it down. Or if you want extreme shakiness, just put it at 100%. <laughs> and then we have some motion blur stuff. But I do notice there's no FOV slider. I'm on PS5, and there is no FOV slider. This is also the PS5 version of the game. So I don't know if this is just for this, or if they're going to add it later, but right now I don't think there is. Also not supposed to actually be in this menu, but whatever. <laughs> Then we got some more audio stuff. Got hit marker sound effects. We got classic or the Vanguard option. And we got the audio mix. Some more down here. We got kill streak music. The flamethrower kill streak. That's okay. So there's you can use a flamethrower. And then there is some more voice chat options. The effects are back from Modern Warfare 2. And then we go to the interva interface. Got different languages here. English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, subtitles, stuff like that. Got the text chat is also back, that's good. And then all of this. Got the mini map shape, it can be either square or round, instead of a circle. And then you got rotation on or off, and then mouse tool tips. And here we go, keyboard and mouse settings. So I think this is gonna be the pretty much the same standard stuff. Bunch of settings for this. For good gameplay. Got more behavior stuff. And act mount activation stuff like that. There's ping. There's gonna be pinging too. And then all this. The keyboard bind, the key binds, and then some more key binds again. And then if, I can't go into account and network, but pretty much there's a crossplay streamer mode and. The, uh, IP stuff and things like that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it all the settings and uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys leave a like